Hello, welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3, Deathmarsh Difficulty, Warrior Jacket, and Venom Swords Only. We just nearly completed the Broken Flowers mission last episode. We spoke to all of Dandelion's lady friends. And now we're on our way back to the Rosemary in Time to talk to uh, Zoltan and tell us, tell him what we saw. I wonder what what means, Geralt. What happened just there? He noticed something on my way through here. What is it? Aha! What is this? Looks like a drop of some sort. Oh yes, I remember this mission. We're not going to do this now, but uh, it is a very short mission. But we will do this a little later on. Uh, it's just a, a side quest. All right, so on we go to the Rosemary in Time to on meet Zoltan. Oh, oh, we have uh, some friends. Porston Jr.'s man, still around. I think they randomly, uh... I think they might randomly respawn every day, or every once in a while. But, uh, might as well kill them while we're going by. Oh, there's one more coming around the corner. They're not, they're not very tough, as you can see. All right, now on our way to see Zoltan, hopefully. Now what is everyone screaming about? Everyone's screaming for, oh. Oh, bandit, what are bandits doing here? I don't remember being attacked by bandits here before. And they look really different too. They look like, uh, they look like the, the Baron's men. I don't think they are from the Baron, but they're dressed that same sort of way, the bloody Baron's men. But uh, I can't recall ever being attacked in a square like this. Anyway, we'll kill him and go on our way. But, uh... <laughs> okay, I, he instantly goes into I'm okay, let's hum a song mode. Alright, let's go to the Rosemary Time. Here we are. Let's go in the back door this time. What is this? It's a, a saw floating in the air. Cool. Alright, so now the place has cleaned up a lot since our last visit, and you can see there's a lot of loot everywhere. And as I mentioned in an earlier video, uh, this place, once, you, once you've been here the second time, it gets restocked and redone, so it pays, to, it pays to loot it when you first get here, and we will loot it later, too. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? Short to start talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits, and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how'd Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Hmm. Dandelion in love. Actually, truly in love. Oh, yes. A laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Alright, so now we are to meet Zoltan at the King... the uh, per, per, uh, Passiflora. Um, after... or the Kingfisher, I'm sorry, the Kingfisher after, uh, Dark. So we got a little while, so let's go ahead and loot this place again. Uh, 
I don't know if it's the same exact stuff that was here the first time, but uh, there's a lot of, you know, uh, minor things like uh, alcohol, water, food. And what is this person doing up here? How are you keeping? That is not normal. What's her name? It's a her, right? El Ella? Oh, she, uh, that, I recognize that voice. And now I recognize her face. She was from White Orchard. She owned the tavern there. Uh, the one where uh, Geralt and, and Vesemir got attacked by a bunch of good old boys. And they ended up having to slaughter them all. And then she kicked us out. And why is she here, uh, silently bouncing against my wall? I, I do not know. All right, this place has all been looted over again. And now, before we go, I just want to check and see if I've already played Gwent with, with Zoltan. Zoltan. Get out. I have not. So I'm going to do that first. Round of Gwent. I never refuse. Let's play. Seems I won. Great fucking shock, given your frankly amateur dick. Here, take this card. You need it. You'd do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing me shame a good dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate, Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Alrighty, so now we're on our way to the Kingfisher. We're just gonna meditate when we get there to uh, to and wait for for Zoltan. Here we are in uh, the square, the main square. And the Kingfisher is right up here to the right, right up these stairs. I can't remember if I've been in here before yet in this playthrough, uh, but uh, the bartender is a Gwent player, so I'm gonna go see if I've Gwented him yet. Kingfisher. Where do you get the name? Master Dandelion's poetry. The Kingfisher preened, then fell in the latrine. Know it? Yeah. Also know the one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the River Fanny. Uh, yes. At any rate, the Kingfisher welcomed poetry lovers with open arms. Some of the brightest stars in the literary firmament performed here. Looking for a partner. Wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. Then you're in the right place, friend. If you'll play now, I'll stake the unique card from my collection. Sure, let's play. All right, we just beat him uh, at Gwent. Got another card. You win. Card's yours. And that should do the. Pl that should finish that playing in keeps quest for. Novigrad area, I think. Maybe not. Maybe there is one more. Oh, you know, there is one more. There's, uh, I think the woman who owns the Pastaflora, maybe? Oh, no, that's it. That is it. Okay. What are you serving? So now I'm going to, uh, ooh, he sells Gwent cards. I'm going to buy the Gwent cards, and then I'm going to go meditate, and, uh, I'll probably s I'll sell all this beer, carrying around a lot of booze. And also, he has, uh, Looks like Mandrake Cordial there, which is very useful for uh, high-level alchemy ingredients. So I'm going to buy that. And then I'm going to go over in the corner here and meditate until Zoltan gets See in. See you later. Wouldn't let me meditate inside for some reason, so now I'm out in the back alley. And, uh, oh, it's time to, we can do the fencing lessons uh, pretty soon with the Van, Van Atra women. The daughters of the ambassador, and so now let's go in here, and now we have a cutscene. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
long have yearned for your tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open. Then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both attain. You flee, my dream come. boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is? It permits me to introduce... Uh, this year's persona known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? 
<laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his way into Passa Flora once. And lay awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. All right. Well, that was a lot of information. What do do here? Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now. See you later. So that's it for Broken Flowers. Now let's just talk to uh, Priscilla here and get a little more Geralt. information. Tell me, you and Dandelion... How do you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first? Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well... I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Take care now. Alright, I've just spent a few minutes looting this place, and uh, now we're gonna we're gonna do a few different things before uh, we go ahead with the main quest. We're gonna do some s smaller missions that are uh, currently in progress. We're gonna go fen do the fencing lessons mission with the Varatra women, the daughters of the ambassador. And then we'll probably do that little mission we picked up at the very beginning of this episode, the, uh, the Novigrad secret agent mission. And uh, maybe some, some more smaller ones, just to uh, make some money and get up, maybe get up to level 15. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, catch you next time. See you later, bye.